नमस्ते गाइस आशीष फॉर नमस्ते टेक एंड वी हैव द लेनोवोज वाइफ के फाइव नोट विद अस इट कम्स विद अ फीचर कॉल्ड अ सिक्योर जोन व्हिच अलाउज यू टू क्रिएट अ सेकंड फोन और बेसिकली अ सेकंड यूजर प्रोफाइल ऑन द सेम फोन एंड लेट्स यू स्विच बिटवीन देम इट कम्स विद लॉट ऑफ फीचर्स सो वी गेट टू सी देम फर्स्ट लेट्स इनेबल इट सो लुक फॉर अ सिक्योर जोन ऑप्शन इन योर क्विक एक्शन सेक्शन एंड टैप ऑन दिस it basically takes you through a setup of information of what it's like so how you can configure then you get cross zone notification so if you are in your secure zone and you get notification from your open zone that's your primary zone you get to see the notification and quickly switch between them the next thing is data isolation and sharing so all the secure zone data is secured in a separate place so these are two basically two separate user profile to separate managements so they don't interfere but they also have sharing feature which allows you to get contacts and messages and photos between the apps then you can easily delete them we'll see to that next so first activate it once you activate it will ask you to configure it basically switches to the secure zone there you go so the first thing it will ask if you want to set up a lock which is very important because if you are trying to hide or try to you know segregate your profiles it's important so let's set up a lock so we'll say pattern and i'm going to use the reverse s confirm then confirm again and it's done and now how do you want to control your notifications so i will say show all notifications say done now these are the bunch of settings that is available which allows you to share apps and everything so one is start at boot this is the best option to do it because otherwise when you switch to your secure zone the phone will reboot so let's skip for it now make sure it's ticked then you have contact sharing make sure enable it because chances are that you will need your contacts there in case you don't you can uncheck it then it's auto switching that is when you lock your screen it automatically switches to your open zone your primary zone next is it allows you to import bunch of apps all the available apps and which actually work so for example amazon shopping just enable it and it automatically copies so i'm going to do a bunch of apps let's say facebook gallery then you have groups photos is automatically done and then there are bunch of apps which are automatically done which are like the basic apps required to use your android phone like the calendar camera chrome and all those now mind you you will have to use a account if you are trying to install apps only on your secure zone so let's say done it takes a bit of time so there you go your secure zone is ready and when you tap on this this loading in all happens only the first time because it tries to figure out what are the apps that is imported so you get this clash of clans everything facebook now if i tap on facebook it will ask me to log in again because it's a separate app it treats it this as a separate app so you need to use it as of now so this is basically how it works now if i go to play store it will ask me to configure a account here a gmail account here a google play account here that is if i want only to use apps not by copying from the open zone but only by installing in the secure zone so you can have the same account or a different account that's completely your wish and how are the apps which are imported updated automatically updates when it updates in the secure zone now if i go to the settings part here there's something interesting here because Uh, when you go to storage and usb you will see that the secure zone is taking this much of space like 3.09 gb for apps and all now technically speaking it doesn't take this much of space but what is happening here that the data or the apps it seems to be kind of shared because when we started without the secure zone it was still the same kind of configuration now what i'll do is i will switch here so you can switch to open zone and then i can 
come back here and now I will show why it's not taking that much of space is because when you go to settings and go to storage and USB and then go to internal storage let it populate what you will notice is other users it takes around like 100 MB for the secure environment and the cache data is like 20.43 MB so it's like 150 MB tops that is taken when you initially set up now this will increase depending you know how much apps you install and you update it because what i can show you here is when you switch to the secure zone for example if i take up asphalt 8 here go back and tap on this it'll ask me to download the data again ask me all the permissions and everything So you can see it is actually asking me to download another 137 MB, which if I download, it will increase the space. So you can see it has started downloading here. Now I'll, what I'll do is I'll do next and we'll go to secure zone. And let's say I'm going to download the Temple Run 2, it also downloads few things, so we can go to Temple Run 2. So now that the download is complete, I'm going to switch to Open Zone again. It might interrupt this downloading, but I'm least bothered right now. I want to see what happens actually. So we'll switch to open zone and get here and let's see what internal storage says again. So you can see it has increased to 15.12 GB and if we go to do a app calculation about secure zone environment, let's see what happens. So you can see here I've got 392 MB of the secure environment. So that basically proves that Whenever you install apps or download data on your apps or the content of the app increases, your secure environment data size also increases, which is pretty obvious. So what they're doing is they're basically copying the basic stuff. And then as it grows, the secure environment grows as well, which in this case is around like 200 MBs. So guys, that was pretty much about the secure zone on the Lenovo's white K5 Note that is available a very very handy feature definitely which you can use to segregate your data between them and if I see the downloading it's still continuing that's pretty impressive because it seems the profiles are actually running parallelly so nothing gets interrupted so that's pretty cool so guys thanks for watching this video hope you like it do hit the like button share it with your friends have got the k5 note and they don't know really about this feature something very really very handy thanks for watching